Hi everyone, welcome to week three. So this week you're going to be completing your first essay, the rhetorical analysis. There are some really good arguments, both for and against having girls in the Boy Scouts, but I hope that you saw from your readings that even though you might agree with a person's point of view or agree with their argument, you can still criticize their writing style. Um, so maybe you think that the BSA should include girls, but you think maybe Cindy, Sydney Ireland's essay wasn't really well researched or relied too much upon personal opinion. Or maybe you think that the BSA should be for boys only, but you think also that Russell Patton's article had an angry, almost sarcastic tone. Um, in any case, you're going to be comparing two articles, and I'm really interested to see your thoughts um, on paper. I want to really be clear about one thing. Um, I'm not one of those teachers who wants you to write to their point of view. So don't worry um, if you don't think that your opinion matches mine. I want to know your thoughts and your analysis of the articles. So just, just to kind of clarify that. I feel like kind of in the middle on most things, I can see both sides. So um, you're not going to be offending me as long as you're writing still in, a, you know, a professional and academic tone. Um, the other thing I want to say, I may have messed up a little bit with your notes. Sorry about that. Sometimes I use the acronym PEEL, P-E-E-L, point, evidence, explanation, and link. And other times I use T-E-A-L, teal, topic, sentence, evidence, analysis, and link. But basically these mean the same thing. So um, I had somebody email me who was like, I, I don't know what you're talking about with peel or teal. Um, basically they both mean the same thing. They're a way to develop your paragraph. You make your point in a topic sentence, P or T, then you add evidence. Um, in this case, it's going to be short quotes from the articles that I provided you. Then you're going to an analyze or explain that evidence and then you're going to link it either back to your thesis or to your next point so using a transition so I hope that that's not too confusing um, if it is hearing about it I put it in the email below as well um, so that's it I'm really looking forward to your papers if you have any questions or concerns about the essay please email me and let me know we can also set up a time during my office hours um, to talk if you feel like you need that so I put my email and the office phone number in the bottom um, the office phone forwards to myself, so please only use it during business hours. I have it on Do Not Disturb other times, so um, just so you guys are aware. But that's it. I'm really excited to see your thoughts about this subject. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.